I just landed here on Mars. Can you guys believe it? For the Disney's premiere of Mars Needs Moms. And you guys have to see this film. There's aliens, Martians, there's kids, there's parents. Wingnut, Wingnut, it's my camera time. There we go. As I was saying, that's one of them. That's Wingnut, you guys just met him. But you guys have to check out this film. It's in theaters now, and Wingnut's back. Can you get off screen? Thanks a lot. Okay guys, so maybe I didn't really land on Mars, but I did land in LA for Disney's premiere of Mars Needs Moms. Right now I'm sitting down and talking to Joan Cusack and Mindy Sterling. Joan Cusack, how are you today? I'm great. And Mindy Sterling. Pretty good. Just talking over here about, you know, the Miami, Miami. influence. Yes. <laughs> Joan, let's get right to it. You're a character, you're, you're mom. Whoa. You didn't eat your broccoli. Broccoli makes me barf. Besides, it looks like brains. Well, you like zombies. Zombies eat brains. Mom, no one likes zombies. They're an abomination. I'm committed to their annihilation. Okay. Well, no broccoli, no TV. She's the kind of the mom that, you know, it's no nonsense kind of deal. Well, I think you know, my kids are 10 and 13, and I have a, I have a Miles, actually, and a this miles. is a Milo. So this is very close to home, actually. Um, but no, I think that's like sort of the, the, the crux of motherhood is like you're, you're, you know, you're trying to do the things that will build character in them that, you know, actually are hard. So they don't want to do it, and you are making them do it because you know it's, it's best for them. And that's what's kind of nice about the movie, because in the end, the, you know, every kid, you know, feels like their mom is like that and like speaking Martian to them. And, you know, why can't they just do what they want to do? And you're doing it all because you love them. And um, that's what's how the whole movie ends. Yes. It's, it's sweet that way. It's more of the parent, not just the friend. That, that was oh, a great yes. That's yes. huge. Very much that's a parent. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's huge. Now, Mindy, you're the supervisor. <clears throat> what were you saying half the time in this movie? Yeah, who knows? Did you come uh, up with this dialogue sure. on your own? Or? We, oh, we're uh, <laughs> training to <laughs> get to that point yes. that it's effortless. Um, effortless. No, we actually had a recording session where we got uh, together and came up with some actual, like, Martian words that we wanted to use throughout the film that um, would set, you know, the tone that this is the kind of language that these people, and it was real to them. And then I would go off and just kind of gibberish and stuff, but um, I love the fact that I didn't have to say any English, and it was, it was understood exactly what I was trying to say. Can you teach me something in Martian? I think it's just about, it's about this gruffness that you have, and... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't yeah. even. Uh, yeah, yes. no way. It's oh, very cool. Cool. But actually, you know, like she's a great improviser, groundlings, you know, level improviser, and all the people that played all the Martians and different characters were all like really good performers and improv people, and like they. They came up with this whole thing. It was like yeah, I mean, it really was it was pretty. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it, it, it was, was pretty special. Uh, it was. I mean, I mean, absolutely amazing. Now, Milo says, Mars needs Botox, and that line stuck with me oh. after seeing your character. Now, do you think well, she needed a couple little, you know, injections here and there? I sh an entire <laughs> new face. That's it. I don't think the Botox would have taken one line out. No. But that also makes who she was. She's, she's gone through a lot in her life. And mothers sometimes do feel like that and that, look like that. That yeah. is how every mother feels, yeah. I think. In your character, the resemblance to you was incredible. I mean, did you, were you taken back by that? Yeah, I mean, it was like a, you know, slim down exercise <laughs> version. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to go to wardrobe fitting. I didn't have to cleanse for four weeks. You were great. Yeah. That's it, great. It was fun. <laughs> and in Martian, can you tell me why people should see this movie? <laughs> And what was that? <laughs> Just thumbs up. Good. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You didn't eat your broccoli. No broccoli, no TV. Milo? Is that broccoli? No, that's vomit, but I understand the confusion. I told you to eat that. You're not going to make me eat it now, are you? There's no good thing to say. I'm going to go tell her I'm sorry. Mom? <laughs> Let her go! Wait! Let me go! I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Welcome to Mars. 
My name is Gribble. This is two cat. Check it. What is going on? Mars needs moms. So the aliens are stealing them from Earth to raise their own kids. <laughs> Who the mothering was so hard? I gotta save my mom. How do we get past all those Martians? Duh. Fire by blaster. Ah, I think I'm going on my Christmas list. Mars needs moms. I'm just trying to find my mom. She's the one that vacuums the house. Oh, come on.